Severe weather struck Ohio overnight and there's significant damage. Two possible tornadoes touched down, the first in Champion, about an hour east of Cleveland. The storm damaged homes, uprooted trees, and took down power lines. Another unconfirmed tornado struck Portage County. One family said they barely had enough time to get to their basement after seeing the funnel cloud. There are no reported injuries. There's also damage in central Ohio. Mike McCarthy is in Bucyrus, just north of Columbus this morning. This is one of the many big downed trees we are seeing here now on this Thursday morning. And let's come back up here to the debris because it is a big pile of wood, roofing and more, all of it getting ripped off of that building right there. But the winds here in Bucyrus were strong enough late yesterday afternoon to pick up this house and knock it from its foundation. The person who lives here is Eric Thomas. He was in the home when the store hit. He said he could feel the house shake and then move all around him. It was really hard to process at first and just thankful to thankful to be OK, thankful to be alive. His home certainly is among the worst damage we have seen, but other neighboring homes have some damage too. Also closer to downtown Bucyrus, cell phone video shows part of a roof missing from a dollar store. We're seeing more damage in the downtown area as well. And we know AP Ohio has been busy overnight working to restore power to thousands of customers in Crawford County. We also know the National Weather Service is sending a team of surveyors here as soon as this morning. Severe weather risk returns today. The greatest threat area shaded in orange. That includes St. Louis, Evansville, Indiana, and Southern Illinois. The Storm Prediction Center puts the threat at a three out of five for possible tornado, damaging winds and hail. There's also a wider threat that extends from Texas to the Ohio Valley.